Here's a short video introducing Tetrix shaft encoders. They should come with instructions that will show you how to assemble the shaft encoder onto the motor. I've already done this. I'm using them on a robot prototype that I'm working on. Alright, now I'm ready to program them in LabVIEW. Make sure you connect to your brick and go into the schematic editor. Make sure that it reflects how your robot is wired up. I have one motor controller with two motors. Both of my motors have been set to use encoders and one of my motors will be going in reverse. You can test out your motors in the schematic editor. You can run them and you can see that the encoder is counting how many quarter degrees that the motor has turned. Since I'm using shaft encoders, I want to tell the motors how many degrees I want them to turn. My prototype happens to be using gears, so I'm going to need to know the gear ratio. If you watch carefully, you will see that the large driven gear will turn once for every three rotations of the motor's driver gear. Normally when you set up a proportion you make sure that everything matches up. 40 teeth, that one turned three times. 120 teeth, the large gear turned once. But if you cross multiply you will see that this does not work. Gears are not directly proportional. Instead, with gears, when you make your proportion you must match them up diagonally. When you cross multiply now it will work because gears are inversely proportional. Alright, for my robot prototype I want my large gear to turn 180 degrees so I match that up diagonally with the 120 teeth of the large gear. I want to know how many degrees my small gear must turn the driver gear. It helps to simplify 40 over 120 to one-third and then to cross multiply to find that the small gear must turn 540 degrees. Alright, now I know that in my program I want my motors with the shaft encoders to turn 540 degrees. So I go into the Tetrix palette and find the move fix distance block. Create a constant and tell it which motors to run. And then I need to create another constant to tell it what speed I want the motors to run at. Alright, now we need to give it the distance. I want it to turn 540 degrees, so I make a constant for the degrees. I want it to be 540. Now let's check the context help by pressing Command Shift H. And this says that the distance is not in degrees, but is in an encoder counts. And up above it says encoder counts are equal to one quarter of a degree. So I need to multiply my degrees by four so that I give it quarters of a degree. I always like to leave labels and comments in my code so that I will understand what my code is doing if I ever have to look at it later on. Finally, you'll see that there's a pull down menu below the block. This tells it do you want to wait in the block and for how long. Alright, Command U will clean up your code. Now it's time to test out the program. You can see that the legs of my robot moved 180 degrees. The motor's acting almost like servo motors.